Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And the day I am in the town of Joplin, Missouri, which is in the far southwest corner of Missouri. Pretty good sized town of about 52,000. And it's about 1,000 foot elevation. I'm staying here a few days at the Elks Lodge. I'm going to show you what their RV facilities are here. And then there are several interesting things about Joplin that I'm going to show you later on in this video. The Elks Lodge here has a huge property, although the RV facilities are small. And one convenient thing is that there is a Walmart just one block away. There is a whole lot of room here for boondocking. But if you want the RV hookups, you can only park like from that building over to that telephone pole because all of the RV hookups are right there beside the building. And I guess you know to park your RV at Elks Lodges, you have to be an Elks member. And I have stayed at a lot of them all over the country, especially in big cities rather than dealing with the big cumbersome RV parks it is so much more convenient to go to an Elks Lodge and here the sign says one night free twenty dollars if you want to stay more than one night and I'm plugged in the 50 amp right there going over to that compartment and this is a 30 amp the guy on the other side of me is parked into there and then there is one two three four 20 amp hookups there's also a dump station right here now you could fit probably four RVs in this space here the big problem is if you want to use the electricity you're going to have to have a long extension cord. This guy with the little camper is plugged into the 30 amp. And this is the only water hookup right there. As far as I can tell for the whole place. And this building here, I think is just used for storage. But look at this, a really huge covered area here with a lot of long picnic tables so if you want to eat outside this is a cool place to do it and there's also a lot of these 20 amp outlets outlets on each one of these poles and if you need to empty your trash there is the dumpster right there about two miles from the Elks Lodge up Schifferdecker Boulevard is Schifferdecker Park and I'm here mostly because of the museum I wanted to show you. It's the Joplin History and Mineral Museum and they have some interesting things outside here. A rock tower and over here is a rock well and this apparently is just a rock and this is a completely different type of animal <laughs> and he comes with his own license plate wonder why it's turned around look at the parts they use to make this there's a light switch <laughs> Oh, I see. There's his real license plate. Every monster should have an identifiable license plate. And what is this? I do not know. My guess is it might be a trebuchet. It's closed Sunday and Monday and today is Sunday. I can see this through the door. I might come back on Tuesday and go through it. 
And there's some type of mineral, I guess. Well, if I have to come back, I'll have to make sure I don't bring my guns and knives. <laughs> and look what is right across the road from here. The gate is locked, so I can't go in. But there is all kinds of interesting machinery throughout here. I have no idea what any of this is. I have never seen things like this before. Maybe this will be open on Tuesday as well, so I can go in and get a closer look. And just a couple blocks down from the Elks Lodge is Cunningham Park. And what they have here that entrance me is their tornado memorial. In May 2011, they had a tornado come through here that was the seventh deadliest in U.S. history. There's some of the details of what it did. And this is just an example of what was left of some of the buildings. And here's some quotes from some of the survivors. It started just like any other normal day. The good news is that there were angels here help people. Some people call them the butterfly people. Growing up in South Texas, I only experienced one hurricane where I lived in Seguin, but fortunately I never got hit with a tornado. And it is a very nice park they have here. I bet you can't guess what is significant about this house. Bonnie and Clyde lived here for a few months in 1933. Up in the top floor above the garage, that garage apartment right there. So that's just a little history of Joplin, Missouri. Next thing I want to show you is what I consider to be one of the top five truck stops in America. They have a blimpy sandwich shop in back, an iron skillet restaurant, and over here is an Orange Julius, a DQ, a Pizza Hut, and a Taco Bell in this food court here. And they have the largest gift shop I've ever seen in a truck stop and they even have a few vehicles on display like a museum I came through here about a year ago and I made a video just about this truck stop so I'm only going to show you an overall view if you want to see more detail I'll put a link to that video in the description below and they have the largest truck accessories and parts store that I've seen in any truck stop. Most of them will have just basic things and a lot of what's here can be used on RVs as well. I wonder how often truckers have to replace their exhaust pipes. I would think almost never. <laughs> and here's a lime green truck they have on display. And I have been wanting to get me a couple mud flaps for my back dual wheels so I'm buying these today Joplin is on route 66 by the way so here is a tribute to route 66 across the country and this mural is the side of this truck the Iowa 80 truck stop is another one that a lot of people think is the best truck stop in America. You know any others that might round out the top five? And on the river here, they have a waterfall and swimming hole. This looks like a pretty good sized river, but the name of it is Shoal Creek. 
They're calling this a creek. <laughs> and right above the waterfall is a dam. Looks like it's good for swimming and fishing. These two guys I saw fishing here. You know, whenever I see people fishing, I almost never see them catch anything. <laughs> it's pretty shallow between the dam and the waterfall. And you can see somebody here who has made their way just below the dam. And the name of it is Grand Falls. And if you like the water more calm, just go a little further downstream. There's a lot of people here. I might come back tomorrow with my bathing suit and see what it's like to actually be in it. Above the falls and below. Well, folks, I appreciate you watching my videos. Please comment in the comment section below. Let me know how you like my quickie tour of Joplin, Missouri. Good day, folks.